Hi, Matt Rosendahl from Great Lakes Home Performance. Just an intro though, this video is for home performance professionals, so if you're a subscriber to my channel and you're not a home performance professional, then maybe you want to skip this video. But we're going to talk about testing bath fans. I have right down here the Energy Conservatory Exhaust Fan Flow Meter. Some people call it a flow box. I, it's, it's really the flow meter is what they call it. And there's a couple modifications that I did to mine. Uh, first of all, I added three more strips of Velcro to mine and another strip of Velcro to my gauge so that I can stick it right on there and free up my other hand. I also have my taps labeled blue, green, clear, and red. And I've just cut a little piece of red tubing that's going to go from my red to the pressure port on the pressure pan. And I usually test bath fans on setting B. This little opening moves back and forth. Most of the bath fans that we test, uh, halfway open is just fine. So the settings for the gauge, if you want to zoom in on the gauge, we turn it on, and we're going to start. Uh, we might want to turn on the light, because sometimes in the bathroom it might be a little bit dark. And we're going to go mode, device, config, and time average if we want to. So with mode, we want to be at pressure and flow. So it says PRFL. For the device, you can see that the default is BD3. We're going to hit this, I think, five times so we get to EXH. Nobody ever knew what EXH was until now. It's for the exhaust hood. Uh, and then configuration, its default is A1, but we're going to hit that once and go to ring B2 because that's the opening that we have set for these. And that's good for measuring most of the bath fans and things. Time average, we can leave at 1. If it's a really windy day, we can take a, a long-term time average or at least 5 or 10 seconds, but uh, 1 is sufficient for most operations. One of the other modifications that I made is that uh, the, the flow meter came with this yellow, uh, it's actually a painter's pad for uh, sanding drywall and things. Uh, it has Velcro on the inside of it, some industrial Velcro. And this handle, the silver handle that I have, was what came originally with my uh, original pressure pan. Well, I just took the, the head off of it, put a sheet metal screw in there, and it makes a really handy handle for the pressure pan. So all we're going to do after picking it up slowly so it doesn't rip the Velcro off, just come in here to the bathroom. We're going to flip the fan on. Uh, I should also note that uh, you might want to wipe off this surface. If it rides in the back of your truck, then uh, this surface might get a little bit dirty and will make marks on a white ceiling like this is. So we hold it up to the fan, kind of center it over the fan, and you can see we've got a reading. If you come over here and, and look at the gauge, you can see we're at 54 CFMs, 55 CFMs. So this fan is working working properly. Remember, Energy Star version 3 requires that a bathroom that has a shower or a tub in it has to be at least 50 CFMs. Uh, so this is probably a 75 or 80 CFM fan that is blowing at 50 to 54, which is, which is normal. Uh, so there you can see how easy it is to test a bath fan with the Energy Conservatory flow meter. Uh, you'd be surprised once you start testing bath fans how many of them don't blow anything at all. Sometimes if I don't quite believe this number and I, and I want to double check it, we can hold a piece of toilet paper up there because a piece of toilet paper might hold at you know, 10 or 15 CFMs, just one fly, uh, and that kind of tells us if this thing measured zero, we want to know if it's completely blocked or if there's just a little bit of flow in there before we tear the thing all apart. Uh, that's my two minutes on using the Energy Conservatory flow meter. If you have any questions, please be sure to leave them in the comment field and I will do my best to answer them. If there's any additional information you want about being a professional energy rater or having your home rated and tested, visit GreatLakesHomePerformance.com and hit me up on the contact page. Thank you very much.